Well, let me show you how to test the transistor because then we're going to do our big transistor lab and then we're going to go home. So just, just hold your horses for a second here. Let me just show you how this works first, then we'll go through it. I mean, I'll let you guys do it. And if you look at the chart on the top of page 10, uh, this tells you this tells you how the, the transistor test works. And again, you're using the diode test setting of your meter. Using the diode test setting. Here's how this works. Don't do it now. Just watch me. You're going to have a chance to do 40 transistors in just a few minutes. Okay? Because we got this. I got a big. I got this big bag of transistors here. You're going to check every one of these. Half of them are good. Half of them are bad. And you'll 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 see how this works. I start with the red meter lead on the base of the transistor. And again, you can touch your fingers to the meter lead. With the red on the base and the black on the emitter. I see a junction drop. Remember what I mean by junction drop, something usually between 0.5 and 0.9, uh, maybe a little bit lower than that depending on what type, of, uh, what type of meter you have. So black, a red on the base, black on the emitter, I see 0.5. Leaving the red where it is, move the black to the collector, you should see the same thing, 0.5 in this case. It, it's generally the same number, or pretty damn close to it. Those are two junction drops, so far so good. What I'm doing is I'm checking the junction between the base and emitter, and then between the base and collector. So far so good. Then I reverse the leads. I put the black lead on the base and do the exact same test. Red on the emitter, it should be open this time. Remember how the diode showed you a junction drop one way and open the other? That's what we're doing here. Leaving the red lead, the black lead on the base, moving the red lead to the collector, also it should be open. Now, final test. Remember that in a transistor, the main switch in a transistor is between the collector and the emitter. Remember that? That's where all, really, they call it the collector current. That's the main current flow in a transistor. As a final test, make absolutely certain, put one lead on the collector, the other lead on the emitter, it should be open. When you reverse the leads, collector to emitter should be open. And that's the complete test. If it fails any one of those tests, if it gives you a junction drop where you ain't supposed to have one, or doesn't give you one where you should, or you see a short circuit anywhere, if it fails any one of the six tests, it's bad. It'll be really obvious to you in about five minutes which one's bad and which ones are not. So just, just hold on for just a second here. It only takes about 20 seconds to test a transistor. Again, red lead on base, base to emitter, junction, base to collector, junction, reverse the leads, black on the base, open, open, Collector to emitter, open. Collector to emitter, open. It's good. And, and again, you're going you're gonna to have a chance to do some bad ones in just a second. Not only does this test tell you if the transistor is good or bad, but the, the test will also tell you if the transistor is an NPN or PNP. If you, if you happen to have an unknown transistor and you want to know what's, what the hell's going on with it, It'll tell you if it's NPN or PNP, the two opposite polarities. If a transistor is an NPN transistor, here, I'll make this really official here. The transistor's an NPN transistor. When you put the red meter lead on the base of the transistor, and you go from base to emitter and base to collector, you'll get the junction drop reading. NPN, the center thing is, the center letter is the base. The red lead is the positive lead of your meter. If you put the positive lead on the base, it conducts. On the other hand, a PNP transistor, when you have the black on the base, that's when you get your junction drop reading. And if you look at that chart, that's exactly what the chart on page uh, 10 is showing you. What the chart on page 10 is showing you is where to put your black meter lead, where to put your red meter lead, and the reading you should get if it's NPN or PNP. 
You know, when you look at this guy, and you look at the chart on the top of the page, it says, red lead, put the red on the base, black lead on the emitter. If it's an NPN transistor, you'll get a junction drop. If it's PNP, you'll get an open reading. And same thing all the way down. I have no idea anything about this transistor at this point. I, and that's true, I really don't. Identify which lead's which. I'm going to put the red lead on the base, the black on the emitter. I've got a junction drop. This looks like a good NPN transistor right now because I've got the red on the base and that's when I get the junction drop. So, so far this looks like a good NPN. Leaving the red on the base, black on the collector, not touching the tape. I get a junction drop. So far it looks like a good NPN. I reverse the leads, open, open, looks like a good NPN to me. Final check, collector to emitter, open, open, number of is, uh, is a good NPN transistor. That's all there is to it. When it fails, if it fails any one test, you can stop right there. If the first test you do is bad, it's bad, there's a bad one right there. Right, right down, right down bad right away. Now I'm here, I'm going to circulate around you, you know, amongst you. Okay, yeah, start with the red on the base and the black on the emitter. You're getting a junction drop, 0.5. Right. Leave the red exactly where it is. Don't move it. Move the black to the collector. 0.5, same thing. Uh, so far, so good. Now, there's six. leave this the way it is. Reverse the leads in your hands. Do the same thing you just did. This time, we should get an open reading. Open. Open. Now, no, final check. Collector to emitter. Very important. The collector, which is the case to the emitter. Doesn't matter which lead you put where. Should be open. Now reverse your lead. Same two pins. Are you done with Collector to emitter. There you go. Open. That's a good one. Okay. That's the base there. Isn't it? Base to emitter. Open. Now look. Now let's think about this for a second. Base to emitter, this time you got the open reading, correct? Right. Meaning so far it looks like a good PNP, like Dan was saying. It looks like a good PNP so far, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Leave the, leave the red where it is, move the black to the collector. OL. So far it looks like a good PNP. Now reverse the leads in your hands. Same test. This time with the black lead on the base. Junction drop. Look, it's following. So far we got three that are perfect PNPs, right? Okay, leave the black where it is, move the red to the collector. Junction drop. So far, so good. That's that one. Final check, collector to emitter, should always be open. Correct. The emitter's lead on the right. Open, which it is. Now reverse those two, two wires, two leads. Which one? Passed every one of those tests, didn't it? It's a good PNP. Cool? Yep.